It's time for Put It In Your Mouth. Welcome uh, to this episode of Put It In Your Mouth where we're going to be making fucking spaghetti squash with uh, tomato sauce and meatballs. If you're wondering what the fuck a spaghetti squash is, you're going to find out very shortly. Uh, but first things first, got to introduce my fellow chefs. Uh, we've got over here... My name is Jizz Wheatley. But don't worry, ladies, because I am gluten-free. The cameraman, we all know him as... I'm Timpany motherfucking Pimpany. And I'm your head chef for this evening's proceedings, Don D. Raper. Uh, we've also got uh, some, some people hanging out with us uh, from uh, up in Canadian land. Uh, please welcome. Uh, who, who are our well, These chefs. are other chefs. These yeah, actually are, are chefs. chefs. Well, what I'm doing right here is, <laughs> is putting meatballs around the border of this pan. There is the border of the pan and there are meatballs around it. Fucking recipe. Uh, you need to drink beer. That's yes. always a part of the adventure. Do this shit now. Um, so, I ain't so, fucking around with you. You don't Sasquatch, fucking do it. Call you I'm going to fucking BS. come to your house. I'm going to kill you and feed you beer when you die. How do you think Dr. Frankenstein resurrected that monster? Post-mortem alcoholism. Yes. Exactly. Um, no, look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Do it. It's in the dictionary. Not hard. So, Guy's got the internet. Guess what? Obviously. I, I warned you that you would learn what a spaghetti squash is. So look at this thing. It's like the Those fucking look like Big Bird's tits. They are they they are. I was going to liken them to Khaleesi's dragon eggs, but Big Bird tits <laughs> seems, seems much well, more. I'm accurate. not a nerd. No, right. You're you're just a Sesame Street enthusiast. That's, that's yeah. Well, you know. That's much less child. I see some stain I, on these bags. Is there anything I should know if I'm a recycler? This is Big Bird in the prime of her life. Oh my God. This, there this it is, is this right. is when Oscar the Grouch goes in for the five dollar titty fuck. What we got here? is Big Bird's colonoscopy bag. This is Big Bird when she's elderly and no one wants her. She's shitting in a bag oh, for yellow insane. shit. These are <clears throat> spaghetti squashes. They're huge. They're Big Bird tits. They're Khaleesi eggs. What the fuck? Um, you gotta take the stickers off because everything now has, apparently, it needs to be have a label whether or not it's an organic piece of nature that you're about uh, to do. I've got a question. Do you guys eat stickers in Canada? We do not. We use them as suppositories here. Yeah. Well, how, how do you do that with a sticker? Wouldn't it stick to the inside of your large intestine? That's it. Exactly. Works. It gets all the stickiness out. Oh, do you, do, you lace, system. do you lace these stickers with anything, or do you just do them straight, like you're hardcore like that? Straight. I, I don't buy it because if I learned anything from the movie Strange Brew, mm. it's that all Canadians do is drink beer and eat donuts. They, they go to um, Stan Horton. Yeah, Jim Horton's. They sell Jim Horton. I called him Stan. That's his brother. That's they why you're going to be taking shots with us right now. Corey Stan Horton just serves Jim Horton's donut holes. All right. Cheers, ball sweat. Fucking whatever it is. There's a shot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what, what? fuck. The only reason I'm here is my car broke down. They said they would give me a ride. Probably gonna go now I'm holding a camera, I'm talking to Canadians. Dude, How exotic is this? this? We're preheating this thing to 400 and pre- Bitch, it's me from the fucking future. We fucking misplaced one of these fucking clips of Chad cutting this shit. Cannot be found. So, I'm gonna fucking re-demonstrate exactly what he did in this fucking clip. What you need is a fucking serrated blade and a fucking spaghetti squash. And you saw it like a fucking pumpkin from one radius to the other. Doesn't have to be fucking perfect. But just make sure that you always point the fucking knife away from your hands. That's the most important fucking part. It's a bit of a bitch to cut. You can fucking cut it though. You'll be happy with your life. Fuck. Yes, there's still some to go.
It will remind you of carving a motherfucking pumpkin. And Chad will explain how you get the fucking goop out of there because that's what you're gonna need to do. This and is, yeah, this you, is, this you have to fucking do that. You gotta fucking finger that fruit until there's nothing left. Give it a colon, and, and here's what I do. I take my, my hobo urine bag. Or Big Bird col colonoscopy bag. Or Big bag. Bird colonoscopy bag. Um, and then just, you gotta oh, get so the seeds out. that's not the yellow color. You've done this before. Now, Don. Uh-huh? This, this is pretty much the origin of a Mitt Romney voter, is it not? Uh, what, this, uh... This scooping, out, scooping out the brains. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the pulp of a squash was the origins of a Mitt Romney voter. Either or. You're all I'm Jizz Wheatley, professional chef. I, I don't have my ID on me. Thank I'm you, ready to get But I'm a chef. Licensed by the government. I'm licensed by your mother. To fucking fill your mouth full of fucking... My mother did have sex with him. Items. My, my car broke down. My mother was with me. So basically, uh, with spaghetti squash, you're going to be eating out of the rind like a fucking savage. Uh, we're going to put these motherfuckers in the oven. We have a tiny, teeny fucking tiny uh, cookie sheet. Uh, I'm going to try and cram all four of them on there. We got our oven at 450. You can and get on the rack, right? You can put one What's on that? the rack. You can put one no, on no, the no, rack. No, 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 no. No, you need them to steam inside. So you have to have a, a solid surface on the bottom because the steam is going to percolate. You put you it on put a rack it on, by you put itself. It on over? Like the, yeah, you turn them upside down oh, like a damn. fucking doodle bug. I see. And, okay, uh, all right. Yeah. Well, you're good luck getting them on there. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You can't do it with the fucking thing. So I need some foil. All right. You get your foil. Cut it off. I'm gonna throw it down. Hold on. Can I, can I get a little bit of that foil? Because the government is spying on my brain. Oh yeah, hell yeah, man. The NSA is spying on my brain. Look, this is about the end of the foil. I think that might be an NSA conspiracy to keep you from blocking the signal. Alright, well... What we're, we're doing is putting these things face down because you want them to steam up from the inside. Uh, you you want to take it from behind. You want your spaghetti squash to get it from behind. Absolutely. Upside down, turned around. Right at the back side. This, uh, like I said, is a comically small uh, cooking sheet. So uh, I am making do. It looks like a fucking sunflower. You, you, you don't want open air to get up in there, to get up ins. Because uh, it Why will... is that bad? Because uh, then it'll dry out the fucking squash. And you don't want that. So you Obviously. Put... Obviously. All right, so you, you, we're getting this in the oven. We got it preheated to 450. I know that's a lot. Actually, I'm probably going to turn it down to 400 at this point. Um, but just scoot it in, uh, make sure that you're going to be able to close it. This thing is going to get really fucking hot. So turning it back down to 400. Got two cans of fucking diced tomatoes. You got fucking celery pieces. You got to fucking have your garlic because it's got to be cloved like this. You can't fucking get powdered garlic because that's convenient and easy and it tastes good. You wouldn't want to do that. You got to fucking be like posh. So do this. Get a big ass fucking clove. You have to fucking cut all over the place. And then you got some basil leaves. Parsley flakes. Squash shots. Squash shots. So let's drink up. Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. Where, where's, where's, uh, where's Dick Sweat or whatever? Oh yeah, true. Dick Sauce. <laughs> Give him a there little squash in there, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> god, you bitches, don't fucking put shit in my shot without telling me it's in the fucking shot. Oh Look god. At Look at this fucking shit. I know, I got the same thing. That, you would fucking throw up too, seriously, that's fucking Oh man. Jesus, that's vile. Onions, right here. And mushrooms, which I have conveniently stowed in the motherfucking refrigerator where they belong. And oregano, too. You need that. If, if you have tomato sauce without oregano and you're making Italian food, a chemical reaction will not take place and you will sicken your guests. You must have oregano, you fucking bitch. Piece of shit. As you can see, I just hurled in my beer. You did, did you hurl in your beer? I didn't see it. It saw it. But a can, it doesn't open a fucking can. <laughs> Piece of shit. As you can see, I just hurled in my beer. Stupid fox! What you need to do is you need to put this stupid fucking uh, tomato sauce in the fucking thing. And truth is, 
This is the wrong fucking, look at this. I fucked up. You don't do it. You put it in the motherfucking largest pan you can, you surface area for this. This is spaghetti sauce. You can also see it's fucking spaghetti sauce. Fucking right look at that so liquidy shit. You don't want this liquidy shit on your pasta. It's gonna drip all over the place, fucking fall everywhere. <laughs> evaporate it. This is what you do. You evaporate that fucking shit and it'll be gone. And you'll have thick sauce. You don't need no flour. Fuck that flour. You just evaporate that shit. So let's turn this shit on right now and we'll fucking add shit to it while it evaporates the shit out of it. Now here's some fucking garlic. You need it so that you can fucking kiss your wife or your fucking girlfriend or that bitch you met on the street two seconds ago and she'll be like, God damn, do I really want to have sex this bad? And she'll probably say yes anyway. And then you'll be like, damn, I had a fucking good garlic meal. I hate this thing. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't need it. On there. Oh, Dude! Oh! What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, this needs to be recovered. Now, we have an emergency here. <laughs> oh, shit! God damn it. Cheers. I'm out of beer! Chef! Chef, Chef Tinkle Bell. Uh, yeah, I'm timpani! I'm fucking out of fucking beer! So, we got a fucking onion. You gotta cut the goddamn onion. Every time you gotta cut everything. If you don't cut it, you're fucked. So you gotta just do it. You fucking cut the side of the onion, peel the first layer off, because otherwise it's gonna fucking taste like shit, and some motherfuckers can complain about your sandwich. You don't want that. If they complain, then you fucking work more. And you don't wanna work. You wanna fucking get drunk. There it is. It's a fucking cut onion. That bitch is cut. And now we put that in this boiling shit. Stir this stupid shit until it gets fucking mixed up. And there's a bottle cap in there because some motherfucker threw it in the motherfucking thing because it's a dumb fucking piece of shit. As my junk holds secret government files from China. I see. Yeah. Well, that'll work. I don't want Chinese. Or, I don't want or Obama to spy on me. Yeah, we don't. We don't need a prism situation on our hands. Well, we have I one. don't need my junk going to Guantanamo because clearly you have tin full to protect you from that. So you're all good. You've got the last time it was fire. waterboarded, I got AIDS. Leaves, leaves, bitches, leaves. Take them off the fucking stem and put them in the motherfucking recipe. You take the leaves, not the stem. You just scratch them off like they're a fucking pimple on your skin or some other shit that you just don't want on your skin anymore. But you don't want your skin to be gone because then you have a big hole in your muscle and it would suck. This is probably dollar fifty wine. This is probably 43 cents worth of wine. Oh, it's terrible. It is a uh, my yucky ass it. cannot support this wine. I, I understand that the the alcohol to to Guys, scent you're ratio. Poor review to this wine. All right, what is it? Let's see what it is. All right, oh. it's fucking uh, Buena Vista from Carnos, fucking uh, Pinot Noir. Oh, he's gonna hurl. He's gonna hurl. There it is. Basil. You fucking put this in the fucking sauce, too. It goes in the damn sauce. There it is. Celery is a controlled substance in California. It is. Because John Travolta kept sticking it in his ass in his Scientology hole. There's nothing left out here except for motherfucking mm. Uh, mm. stuff I don't need. So there it is. Oh, garlic. And we put like oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Sauce. He fucking lost a tooth. What happened, man? <laughs> he didn't lose a tooth. Are you alright, Jizz? Jizz Wheatley. Sorry, Jizz Wheatley. It's always gluten free. <laughs> as soon as you see no bubbles coming out, then you know you have sauce. You put it in a fucking container, vacuum lock it, and sell it to some dumb shit for four ninety five if you want to. I think that we need a little bit of jizz in in our uh, I think spaghetti sauce. I think we need sauce. a little jizz. In the spaghetti sauce. All right, that's yeah, that yeah, is what my right. Italian grandmother said. Hell yeah! And she wasn't even Italian. Right. <laughs> she just skinned an Italian woman and put on her flesh as a suit. <laughs> she had she had issues and she's been locked away. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this jizz style, jizz Wheatley style. We're gonna take this dime store Hell wine. Hell yeah! Fuck yeah! We're gonna put that right in the spaghetti sauce. Whoa. Oh god, I'm not putting my fucking beer in that spaghetti sauce. Fuck that. No. That, that is some fucking Jeez, shit right there. Like, Do you need to stir it around or are you just gonna let it percolate? We're gonna let it stew. <laughs> we are. Stu, if your name is Stu and you're watching this, this is your episode because we are letting this spaghetti sauce become you. Also, if your name is Stu, I think Tommy is going to grow up to be a very disturbed child.
That's a reference that I assume is either The Who or Stephen King. I don't fucking know. It's actually Rugrats. Oh, damn, that is nasty. <laughs> there it is. Tommy was that fucking baby. <laughs> so now it's time to cook some meatballs that are going into this. We got... Wait, 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 wait. Meatballs. For the record, yeah, for the have, record, have, have, I am a fucking vegetarian. A fucking I will not goddamn taint my mouth with dead animal flesh. These two are sinners right here. Sinners in the name of God. And I don't, need, I don't, I don't necessarily believe in God. I don't know what I believe in. I believe in... You don't know what you believe in? I believe in the power. I will give God an orgasm. I will not fucking will have God anything. An I will have nothing to do with anything other than giving God a fucking giant ass O. There's nothing else I want to do with the motherfucking God at all. Here's the thing. If there is a higher spirit, I don't want to believe in it if it makes me blow it. Um, so, you know what? I will declare my atheism if I have to swallow some deity sh uh, jizz. And my name is Jizz. This, uh, is, is all well and good, but it needs to go in this fucking pot because I need to, to reduce, reuse, and recycle what we have going on here. This is some earthy food porn right here. You're learning a lesson. You're learning a life lesson. We're scraping. We're scraping food porn. We're not this running. This needs to happen. You've already got your Skyrim porn, which is Game of Thrones. <laughs> you just basically don't cut, slice your fingers off like I just did there. Um, it's gonna regrow. Just don't mind the blood. I'm, I'm, I'm Hep C negative, as far as I know. I haven't been tested in a while. What about the time you fucked Pamela Anderson? No, no, no. But she wasn't Hep C po No, she probably was actually. Yeah, oh, she yeah, was. She was filthy with it. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. So we're scooping up all of this and dumping. This is garlic, by the way. Uh, it's kind of what you want. If, if you want to keep the vampires away. And we're, we're, we're storing it in this bucket. Uh, moving everything else aside. We're Look at that onion! It's in there. If you want any more onion. Oh my god, that's a lot of onion! Oh, your ass is gonna bleed! It is, it's gonna bleed. It's gonna bleed! It's gonna be a rocket full of blood! Uh, I have a different technique than cutting onions, uh, than timpani. Uh, I cut off the, uh, the top of it first. Leave the stem intact. This is a lot of cleaning. Cut, cut two, <laughs> cut two fucking, uh, uh, slices into it, and then you peel off the half oh. that has all the paper. Get that shit off of there. Now, complete the cycle. Th Dunder Mifflin. I'm Jim Halpert. He is Jim Halpert. The root is crucial to dicing an onion because it's going to hold it together. So I've got like oh, like a half a centimeter above yeah. the surface. I'm doing a lateral cut and I'm doing another one slightly above it, slightly above it, going in and I'm never connecting. Um, I'm going to do a couple vertical cuts um, going in as well, always keeping the center root as like the anchor point for this shit. And uh, once you get in a couple times, that was kind of a big slice. You know, it's not a perfect science, you're just cutting up a fucking ah. onion. Um, then you go down like this. Oh damn, he fucking diced that shit. Yeah, Straight and up. it's fucking diced. You did do it, you did dice the shit out of that onion. Just, well done. just like Andrew Blank Clay. Well done, sir. Andrew Blank done. Clay is so, all about this recipe. So, the... so we take our diced onion and it's going into our mother fucking meatballs. This, this meatball has fucked some mothers. It but has. You know what? I am a vegetarian and I demand you make a vegetarian friendly alternative. Uh, I won't. Ball sweat, do you eat meat? Of course, I'm a fucking man. Thank you for that diatribe, Jizz. Um, I want to point out that I've I've taken my ground pork, one pound total, thrown it in here. I also need to grab some fucking eggs. Don't eat eggs. Don't eggs are kids. vital. Boom. And then you take some uh, some some breadcrumbs, which we've got hanging out uh, in this kitchen, probably not in the fridge. She chose oh, to be right fucking there. here. Yeah. This is this is. This is Gresso brand, Gresso brand breadcrumbs. When you feel like progressing beyond the normal breadcrumbs, grab some Gresso. There's really no exact measurement to this, and we've got balls. Throw it all in there, fucking throw it all. I will oh. not throw it all. That will ruin the recipe. Will it really? Yep. yep. How much did you put in there? Taking off, taking off my wedding ring, and as we all know, Don D. Raper can never get 
pegged down. So this goes to the side, and then we take our free hands and dig in. This just gets circulated, uh, as, as you would the internal organs of any victim um, that, you, that you might encounter. Uh, you didn't hear that, you fu- Hey, Don D. Raper, we're gonna take a shot. TV, Can cheers. No, I'm cheers sure. indeed. We're the fucking cheers to our friends bitches. in Canada. Click your fucking webcam with this shit. Click it. Yeah. Just like Woo! the United So so what you need to do to make these fucking meatballs is take a, a spot of olive oil and just throw it in the bottom of the pan. That's going to be what heats uh, the fucking things up. You're going to uh, you've already taken off your wedding ring cuz if you're if you're a raper like me, you you know that that shit's meaningless. You take a little handful of this after you've massaged it into compliance. Sometimes you have to do that in your social life. Drop it straight in. It's going to start cooking immediately. So what I like to do is kind of make a, a circle around the outside of the pan. Alright, the shit is there. There it is. What do we got here? All right, well, Dick what we're doing Raper. is taking some chopsticks and pulling all of this shit out of the fryer. The, these are our completed uh, uh, meatballs, and what you can do is probably cut them in half. You see, they're they're skew they're uh, carb carbonized on the top and bottom. Uh, we got some onions going in here. Of course, you saw those added to the recipe. We're just basically picking these out in the reverse order yeah. that we added them, or actually flipped them, and that makes sure that. Uh, the youngest ones in the pan have uh, a significant amount of time to continue browning. Water soaked rags that are not actual oven mitts, but we'll see if it works or if I burn I my love fucking it that you hands guys off. This recipe is better. It's gonna be fun to look at too. Oh, oh I may have finished. got it without burning my hands off. It's, it's still a little early to tell, but my hands might burn off. No, nope. no, they actually worked. Oh. Don D. Raper, let's get a look at those oh. hands. Let's get a look at those hands to make no. sure. No, they, they're still intact. They didn't burn off. Uh, I, I, I think I fucked up some, some uh, washcloths here. But here's the thing. We matter, just, we just dealt a fatal blow to the oven mitt industry. Those fat cats have been on top for far too long. I think this calls for a drink. Pamela Anderson's... Hepatitis C infected asshole. Sir. It's yeah. time for Don D. Raper to put some spaghetti squash in your mouth. What you need to do, you pull these out of the oven. They've been steaming inside their weird spaghetti squat hut. So you gotta flip them over. They're gonna be fucking hot as fuck. They do look steamy. They're, They're delicious. Right. They're steamy. There's one. Right on I'm gonna way. get spaghetti squash and just fucking rake it. You rake it like this and it pulls all of these strands out. God damn, this, there are strands. This is the fucking magic of the spaghetti squash and it's fucking awesome to, to see. Um, you rake all these strands out and the husk... It sounds like the fall when my dad would give me four dollars to break the whole fucking lawn of fucking leaves and there's piles everywhere and then I'd jump in them and then make you have to rake them again. You kick it up like this and uh, what happens essentially is that we're gonna throw on some some uh, spaghetti sauce and some uh, meatballs. Here's the cool part that I love about this is it it satisfies that primal urge to rip into a vegetable and make it your bitch. Um, you essentially eat this meal out of the rind that the spaghetti squash came in. Each one of them is getting the sauce that Chef Timpani made. We're putting that straight. No, let's be fair. And Jizz Wheatley's. Okay, Jizz Wheatley also did a little bit of stirring. And what we're going to do is, well, we've got a special guest, is it good or is it ain't judge, coming out. But until that person arrives, what we're going to do is throw three of these fucking meatballs into all but one. But one? But one. Of our squash fucking Are things. you saying you're gonna leave a squash for me? The vegetarian. The vegetarian? Yeah, Jizz Wheatley is a fucking puss. So it's time for is it good? Or is it ain't? Or is it ain't? <sighs> you bitch! Is it good? Or is it ain't? I'm gonna say it's fucking good. Yeah, it's, it's fucking alright at least. Alright at least. That's all good. right at least. Well, first I have to use these 
goddamn chopsticks because I am a vegetarian and we love people outside of America. We hate Americans, but we love the world. And this is what I'm gonna say. I thought you hated your. What? Goddamn, this is good as hell. That's goddamn delicious. Is it good or is it ain't? So good. This shit is something you can't ignore. If you ignore it, you're fucking dumb shit. If you're dumb shit, then that's what you are. You're dumb shit. Oh. <laughs> Don the Raper, is yep. it good or is it ain't? Well, here's the thing. I, I have not been given utensils by either of my... Man, I drink so much fucking pure juice of something. Regardless of that fact, I, I, I would have to say that this is good. I'm gonna take a fucking bite out of this and say, Roll the end credits, you fuck! Roll the end credits, you fuck! I like to talk to you about the taste test.